Good morning, lovely people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Keith. This is ABL Reselling. And this weekend, we have got a lot on. It's five o'clock on a Saturday morning, but it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend. Now, I don't want to jinx it, but I'm going to attempt to be getting up Saturday, Sunday and Monday really early this weekend so we can get out to the boot sales. Kicking off today with a trip over to Norcross, which is near Fleetwood. I haven't been to this boot sale for a while, but it's always, it's always been a bit curious egg. It's very weather dependent, but weather reports are fantastic for this weekend so it should be a good turnout. So let's get into it for hopefully the first of at least three boot sales, touch wood, this weekend. <laughs> I'm really, really early, like an hour early. I did actually get to thinking, you know, why don't I just record the intro after the boot sale so I'm a lot fresher and bright as a button. It's all about keeping it real low. It is hard work getting up in the morning. Sometimes you feel like you need to electrocute yourself just to get started. But the sense of satisfaction when you land is brilliant. So I kind of think it's important that I am, I do appear to be knackered when I'm doing the intro because that's real. You don't actually achieve anything unless you motivate yourself and throw yourself at it. Does that sound a bit preachy? <laughs> ah, you know what I mean. Hey, there's a lot of sellers in this queue ready to go in though. Today is going to be a good day and I've noticed on the way in there's another boot sale. I didn't think it was open yet. Now I'm going to stop waffling now, see what I can spot as these sellers are setting up. <laughs> Hey, 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 all right. All right. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. Well, yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, tremendous. Yeah, we watch you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> very kind. Well, I live in Atherton. It's not so far away from Chelsea. All right, okay, yeah. yeah. It's my first time up here this year. How much your Converse? Um, how much do you want from Converse? Oh. Nice to see you. And you, have a good day. Eight quid. Eight quid. Yeah. It does work, I've got batteries inside it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, batteries, so you switch it on radio. Radio, it's just... Tape on that. Tape, well... That's a radio. And if fact it was, there's... <laughs> yeah, well, my mate will get it going, won't you? Here, get oh, yeah, here we are. Here we are, yeah. Sorted. What's that fucker up in there? All the money just for plugging batteries in the bastard. <laughs> yeah. That's about some quid for batteries. I know, I yeah. More. These are big ones, is it? Is it like the C batteries or something like that? Yeah, the, the, the HB2s or whatever they call them. Yeah. Are you interested in it, mate? No, it's not for me, that one. No, no. David does. You know those things that you suppose? Yeah. And he said they've been perfect for ages yeah Thank you. morning lovely how morning. much have you on your ps3s right um he's coming back because he's got to put a wire with them in the car so ps3s are i think you said 40 i think it was for these ones yeah and we's 30 and these are 25. gotcha it's just an excuse for him to go for a brew, that's what it is, leave you doing all the work. Yeah, really <laughs> Fair enough, have a good day, Flower. Thank you. That's the one, that one. How much is your truck? I want six for that. How much are your gloves? Gloves, John. Ten. Oh, can I have your autograph? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's him. <laughs> it's him. It's him. Oh, I'm getting blamed for stuff already. I don't recognise him. I can have <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what it is, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I get that a lot. <laughs> it's famously strong. They're swapping out soon. So I have mileage this now, you know. <laughs> Brilliant. Better put watching your telly, put you on all time. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Norcross, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> if you want a deal on them, I'll do your deal from both. 16 from both. 16 from both. Is it? Yeah, it is a good deal. I've got quite a few in stock at the minute, though. That's the, that's the only thing, so I was just looking at those jeans, actually. Do you still ride? No, I must admit, it's been a couple of years since I was out on the bike and it's been absolutely killing me, you know, during lockdown and that. So I've, uh, I've treated myself, I've got another bandit. I'm only like sixth or, a sixth or seventh bandit now. I just keep going back to him. Morning. Morning. There is a bit of petrol in that if you want to try it. How much have you got on it? 60 on it. 60. Works fine, you can, you can fire it up, test yeah. it if you want. I'll fire it up for you if you want. I think it'll be killing my budget, to be honest. <laughs> What's your budget? Uh, not very much. Show you how I work here. Let's have a look. What do you do, 40? 45 and you can have it. You can't really do 40. Yeah. I'll fire it up for you. Yeah, if you don't mind, yeah. I think that'll be the, the swing. I'll take it, red switch is the choke. Choke's down there. Yeah. Yeah, you got a pump thing there. You got plenty for you. Just... Gotcha. Yeah, go on, we'll do that at 45. Nice Slash one, cheers, my Thank friend. You. Thank you. How much have you on your boots, bud? Seven. Then. Mm. How much are your trainers? Pardon? How much are the trainers? Trainers are a size 12. Yeah. Um, and they're a fiver. Yeah. Now about the jeans. Three quid for that. Yeah. Just gonna push your trolley just a tiny. Yeah, no worries. Sorry, I'm always in way, mate. No, it's all right. Don't worry. Loads of change as well for you. Oh, perfect. You're a star. <laughs> Thank you very Cheers. much. Have a good day, ladies. And you as well. How much are the shoes, Paul? Five of me. What size they are? Come tell you, mate. We'll do those for a fiver. <coughs> Worth a fiver, tell you. Oh yeah. Well, I've had them on eBay for fifteen quid. <laughs> Smashing chairs. Thank you, mate. Thank you. How much is that? Um, ten pounds. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. <laughs> Would you do five on it? Yeah, we can do six. Thank you, lovely. I might have a pound actually if you've got a five oh, pound. I have five, yeah. There we are. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, thank you. How much have you got on that? A fiver. Did it work? Yep, and there's a remote for it as well. Lovely. Just happened to have a fiver in my hand. There you go, see? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I want it, I'll give you more for it. <laughs> You buy off me for more if you want. <laughs> 20 quid. What's that off? Uh, I don't know. It's not off now. A big bike. Yeah. <laughs> They're expensive for all them things. They're not cheap. There's no way of identifying them. It'd be too easy if there was a yeah, serial number on or something, wouldn't it? Number on each one or something, wouldn't it? Yeah, I have a friend who deals in them, yeah. um, but I think he would need something to go off. Yeah. What have you on that, bud? What have you on that? Uh, four quid. <laughs> Working, I've got a power supply for it somewhere, I think. 
talk myself out of it. <laughs> You're here again. I'm following you. <laughs> How much are your jackets? Um, I'm looking at that one. Uh, the leather, I think. I wanted 12 for that, yep. 15 for that. And that one. And a tenner for that. <laughs> I know, yeah, <laughs> typical, innit? That one. Yeah, that one. Tenner. I'll do those two. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've got green holes next to Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take that on the way home. Maybe, um, I've got to work on my bike today, so I might hit Charlie on the way home as well. Yeah. So, Is please. that far called, Charlie? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, what have you got on that one? Six on that. Six. Did you do five? Thank you. In honour of Jamesy. There we are. Thanks, Lower Tires. You have some very nice gear, that's for sure. Yeah, we try our best. <laughs> Are these here size 10, do you know? Yeah. How much have you got on them? Tenor. How much are they, pal? Uh, 10 pounds, mate. It's been like 60, 60 quid, brand new. Yeah. Still brand new, the time's on the road. And about the black ones? They're 35, they ones. They're wicked. Can't leave those. <laughs> you taking them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Just a ten of them, please, can't they? They're different, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like them a lot. Yeah. It's a shame they're not my size. Oh, we haven't got any change at the moment. Uh, do you want us to keep hold of them for you? And you can come I might be able to do it, just give me a sec. Just oh, yeah. 20p to spare. <laughs> That's great. Nice one. Cheers, man. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Have a good day, guys. Yeah, you Cheers. How are you doing, bud? You well? Yeah, yeah. Kind of talked to you on the Facebook group. Oh, all right, yeah. Rich. Oh, nice one. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, well. Yeah, not too bad. How are you finding it today? I've just started, to be fair. Yeah. Had a little look around. Can get just this is just stuff I'm getting rid of. Yeah, stuff yeah. That's too big for me to post. Fair dues. Well, that's what you're interested in. I'll uh, see your deal, obviously. Oh, you're a good man, sir. You're a good man. Right. Hey, I tell you what, you got to check these out. How? Oh, I saw how, them in someone's car. How cool are I'm these not, ones? Not a Come on, get up there. <laughs> They're wicked, mate. Wicked. Is this stay alive? Is it complete? And there's a few balls missing. Yeah. I played it with my daughter. Yeah. There's a couple missing. If you want that one, you can just take it from. No, you're all right. Yeah, yeah, I can't find any comps for it at all. I did sell it once, yeah. but you know, I started and the post was just bonkers. I think I sold it 25 quid or something. Yeah, I yeah. Just... There's no hard drive in that, is there? I don't know, mate. It's well no. about selling it cheap. Yeah, I don't yeah. really know. That's what, again, why I'm selling it, I don't know about it's it. It's really weird. Yeah, I mean, it's stuff like that. I mean, they, they're not worth very much unless they've got an hard drive. But if they've got yeah. an hard drive, they're worth loads. Yeah. It's sort of like, like learning my niche. Yeah. I think I've gone back to clothing. It's all clothing. That's yeah, yeah, really. yeah. So stuff I had at the start, I don't know a lot about. I'm not selling on eBay, so I've got a decent. That's it, yeah. I don't want to ruin it by selling it. something I don't know yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you anyway, yeah, Paul. Yeah. See you then. How much have you got in your suit, pal? 45, mate. 45. 42. I'm missing its knee pads. No. Managed to get some change. Oh, you've got some? Yeah. We tried to chase after you could find you, because I found it. I found right, okay. <laughs> I don't know which way you've gone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, this is David, the YouTuber. Hi, Craig, how are you doing, Paul? Okay. You well? All right, yeah, good, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been a while since I've been there. I think I recognise you've been on a couple of years ago, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always singing the praises of this place. Yeah? Yeah, I yeah. love it. Nice I love it. busy today, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I've, it's been a while since I've been down because, um, you know, lockdowns and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, but you seem to have done pretty well, yeah, yeah. keeping it going and all that. That's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's a perfect mix of traders and private sellers as well, isn't it? So there's always something to find. So done really well today. It's, it was a weird one because I didn't expect very much because I, I paid to get in early. Um, and I was kind of thinking, I'm not going to find anything. And all of a sudden, you find this stuff left, right, and center. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, where you're winning is your social media presence, definitely, because you're on it all the time and it yeah, answering yeah, questions like, and stuff I like, like that. Updated, and then, yeah. And then they all know it's definitely on or it's definitely yeah. not yeah. on. Yeah, that'll be the reason for your success. I mean, filling up all the overspill fields already. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. So I shall be back, that's for sure. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> it's good chatting to you anyway, all, right. all the best to you. Nice to meet you. I'll all give right. you a shout out in the next video. Yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> well that's Norcross done, excellent result there. Really good to speak to the organiser Craig as well. Very switched on bloke as far as boot sales are concerned. He's obviously making a cracking success of it here. Right, let's get it over a green ulch. I wasn't expecting to hit here today, but it's on the way home, so let's rock and roll. Boot sale number two, Enterprise are going to love me when I hand this car back to him. <laughs> How much have you got now, bud? 15 quid, mate, yeah? Or 8 quid for the second hand. Originally, I think we were like £170 a shot, and then we reduced to £110. Yeah. What were you doing a lot for? Yeah, yeah. I just I grabbed them all. for myself, actually. Quite nice. Oh, you're overselling it now, boys. <laughs> I knew we were going to say that. I tried to make picture out up. I took them on holiday. I've got them. You're doing something for the lot. Call it 105. Yeah, go on. There's a. Uh, you said there's five. But, oh, there's, there's the other ones. Yeah, there's another yeah, one. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah, belting. Cheers, man. What have you on your pad set? I can't remember. Do you know, I just come and help. Do you know what it is? I'll be honest, all fruit week, fucking kids do me heading. So on the weekend, I come with him. <laughs> yeah. And yesterday, just get out we were 12 way. yesterday. So he had three of his mates over last night. So you can imagine I'm not just fucking yeah, slept. Just, just get out of the house, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much on your pads? Um, I was originally asking like a fiver each for a yeah. bit. But I'd probably do the lot for a tenner, mate. I know they, they, they like. It's 15, oh, 15 or 20 quid yeah. online a set. This few boots? Yeah, there's D5 and change. Sound, cheers. cheers mate. D8 quid for those? Yeah, got a bit. Sound. Just want everything on really the Together in the whole pack, like over 6,000. Yeah. Uh, All the best to you, fella. See you later, mate. Now, of course, there's a chance that they are moody. They look pretty genuine to me. The fact that they're in the boxes, all proper labels on, it's making the right noises. I think, generally speaking, dodgy ones are just sold without a box. I'm happy enough to take a gamble on those. It's five pairs for 100 quid. Looking at some of the comps on those boots, we're looking at 70, 80 pound a pair. I should report back on that. <laughs> Well, it was just one seller that made the trip to Green Osh a worthwhile trip, but it was always going to be a bonus trip anyway, because obviously I'd uh, got to Norcross early on. So by the time I got to Green Osh, obviously a lot of the good stuff would have already been picked up. Right, let's see what I found then. £240 spent today, and for that I got 21 items. And it's looking like in the main we've gone with quality over quantity. Right, first out of the gate are these Bauer knee and wrist pads. These are virtually given away, the brand spanking new. Bauer, a good brand to be watching out for in sports gear. They do a lot of ice skates, uh, roller boots, that kind of stuff as well. Four sets of them, and the listing value on those is £20 each. They were from the green old car boat, obviously, the last one I went to, along with these five 
lots of Timberland. Now I've checked them all out, they're all absolutely kosher. And the first lot, A2C87 is the model. Waterproof boots, absolutely lovely. Listing value of those, £70. And they're a size, American sizes, so they're a size seven. Or should I say, American sizes on the box. There's UK sizes on the labels. These are Burra trainers, obviously Timberland again. A24S9, size eight on these. These are the least valuable of the, the five. Listing value on those, £40. Next, Elmhurst boots. Again, waterproof. I'm gutted these aren't my size. Size 7. Listing value on those, £80. Another pair of the A2C87s. These are a 6.5. Again, I'm going to put a listing value of £70 on those as well. And finally, on the Timberlands. Model is the Alburn, A-L-B-U-R-N. Size 7, listing value on those, £90. Really good result from that seller. I think I'll have to slow down picking these up. I've got about four in stock, similar kind of devices. This is a Sony CFD S01, a radio, CD and tape player. Not a bad return for such a little boom box, actually. Listing value on that, £25. Now, something I've slowed down picking up, actually, because when you pack them, they just tip over the two kilo mark. Uh, I'll only pick these up now if they have the new lightning connector on. It's a Sony alarm clock radio, DAB. The model is ICF DS15 IPN. Obviously, a Brucey bonus, it's got a remote with it because that does add value. Listing value on that as well, £25. Under Armour train is size 12. Really good, Nick, actually. Just need a bit of a wipe down. I don't think I'd go so far as putting these through the washing machine because generally when I'm selling these, I'll make the visible bits look as clean as humanly possible and not really too fussed about the sole because the used, people ex expect wear to the sole anyway. But aside from a bit of grub, these are in fantastic condition. Listing value on the Under Armour train is a little bit all over the place, but because they're a good adult size. The listing value I'm gonna put on those is 25 pound. Nice bread and butter pickup. This is for a bit of a chubby short else. 36 waist, 30 leg Levi 501s. Obviously you're expecting wear into to the legs and whatnot from, well, that's how they come out of the factory. One thing to note on uh, on Levi's, on jeans generally really, is how much wear they've got to the heel. You can get away with a little bit from used, but not really excessively. He has got some on here on these, but it's not excessive, just a, a wee bit there. I'm not even gonna bother trimming that up actually, because it'd probably make it worse if anything. Levi's always solid sellers. These are a straight leg. Listing value on those, 23 pound. Now last week I said I wasn't, I didn't see very many of them in the wild and I find two lots on consecutive weeks. These are a Brogue Lokes. Loke is still a consistently good brand to watch out for. These are in fantastic condition, actually. Bit smaller than I'd like. These are a size six and a half but the body of them, uh, they look like they've had very little wear. Always commanded pretty consistent prices as well, as far as listing goes, and the listing value on these, £45. Now, particularly the Timberlands, there's decent margin in them for me, but the one pickup above all these that stood out were these Vans boots. How cool are these? Brand spanking new with tags, obviously in the original box. These are smart as hell. Um, Gutted they're not a size eight. These are a size five and a half. I just think they're amazing. Properly cool. Might be sticking my neck out a little bit on the valuation on these, but there's very little competition. I think there's one or two sold comps, um, and there's a few of different styles, uh, SpongeBob trainers and whatnot. But I'm going to stick my neck out at a fifty pound listing value on those, and I'm pretty confident they'll go. Pretty confident. More vans this time, some shocking pink ones. These are a size seven, I think. US eight, so yep, there'll be a seven. I'll need to double check that actually because usually with vans, there's a UK size on the label. There isn't in this case. Oh, no, men, it says men's US eight. Fair enough, yeah, so will, these will be a UK seven. Listing value on those, 14 pound. Might be doing a bit of a disservice on those because vans just lately I've been doing really well with around about the 20 pound mark for used ones. Another leather head bag I've found in the wild. This one's in a bit ropier condition. It's there's clear wear to it, but I'm not really too fussed about it. I didn't think I don't think I paid very much. I'll have to watch the video back. I think I paid about three to five pound for this. The last one of these I sold was in a bit better condition in like a cream colour and it was a, a wee bit larger than this I think and it got sold to a TV production company. In fact I think it was the crown that it went to and I 
think, if memory serves, it sold for the same value I'm going to put on this. So the listing value I'm going to put on this head bag, one to watch out for, £35. Now, I'll be perfectly honest, I'd never heard of this brand before James from JR Reselling mentioned it, Rohan. So I didn't really look into it too much. He was so giddy about picking them up. I thought, God, it'd be good, mate. God, God, it'd be good news. And they're okay. It's not spectacular, though. <laughs> and I'm pr I've put a listing value on this, but I might even just be stretching it a bit. Listing value I'm going to put on this Rohan jacket, size medium, is £30. The comps really don't support that kind of valuation either. I was expecting higher comps. But it just goes to show, really, that you should march to the beat of your own drum. I mean, it's great watching videos like this for steers in the right direction and things like that but at the, ultimately you've got to do your own due diligence and your own research and make sure that the money you're spending is as wisely spent as you can make it this did catch my eye though this is much nicer you might have you might have heard chaddy pete reference shooting jackets and the like this is penfield trail wear it's not specifically referred to as a shooting jacket in this instance, but that's the style it's reminiscent of. So that's certainly what I'll be using it as a keyword. I wasn't familiar with the brand Penfield before today either, but obviously I checked my comps and they are good news. This is size XXL and the listing value I'm going to put on this is £50. I do love a woman's long leather coat. I've done very well out of this style of jacket very well indeed the last one that i mentioned in one of my videos was a similar style without a belt maybe a little bit longer that one but certainly a very similar style that sold really really quickly and the listing value i've written down on this i'm probably doing it a disservice i might revise it upwards when it comes to listing because it is in fantastic condition the last one i sold looked like it had been to a festival and it was a bit gungy and rather than get it dry cleaned i, I, I just cleaned it out the best i could and listed it and it still sold Sold very very quickly so like i say i might be doing this a disservice with a listing value of 45 pound on that last today generally speaking i won't pick up tools like this because this is essentially a tool it's a makita bh x 2500 this is a leaf blower i probably picked it up on the video but obviously the guy started this up and got it working i have sold electric versions non-branded of this equipment before they were new sold pretty quickly decent margin but the, there is pretty good margin on this as well but i did pay up for it the one thing i'm gonna have to very uh, gonna watch out for is obviously postage it's clearly going to be going through a courier because of the size and weight of it the, the nozzle will strip down but there's nothing you can do about the body and it's probably i would say two and a half to three kilos but i will have to drain it down completely there is a bit of fuel in it so i'll have to drain it down completely for shipping it's not leaking but i thought probably prudent to stick it on a plastic bag my experience with any form of engines not very many comps there are a couple of spares or repairs one and one comp that is a, a working used version which obviously this is so i'm going to be aiming around about the same kind of ballpark so the listing value i'm going to put on this is 120 pound now the beauty about all bar three of these items is it's a really easy photograph and list pick and pack there's nothing from this week that requires any kind of effort to get ready and i'm all about that <laughs> the easier i can make the job between pickup and sale the better it is all round now originally i was going to do a super video with all the boot sales i'm doing on this bank holiday weekend i decided against that because as much as i know you guys love going around boot sales i don't think you'd sit down and watch a four hour Ben Hur like epic saga of me traipsing around boot sales. So I hope you're having a fantastic bank holiday weekend and absolutely nailing it at the boot sales. Thanks very much indeed for watching the videos. Please like and subscribe. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you in the next one. Do you love a woman's long leather coat? I do love a woman's long leather coat. <laughs>